hey guys welcome back to the channel welcome back to the another video so i'm doing this video because i got so many comments regarding this even if i summarize the comment section of my videos mostly people are complaining about the battery health issues most of the comments are like i updated to the ios 18.5 i and my battery health dropped four percent five percent three percent in a week in two three days atc my comment section is all about battery health decreasing and so i thought why not let's talk about the situation whole going on so first of all let's talk about the battery life itself so battery life every if you ever get a new iphone it will be like 100 percent of battery life because it's a brand new battery and it's a lithium batteries and over time when you're using your battery the health of the lithium batteries usually decrease so basically what you can do is you can slower down the process of decreasing the battery health you cannot control the battery health completely you cannot stop the battery health by dropping um you know you cannot stop it you cannot say that you want it like 90 percent and now it should stay 90 percent forever you can't do that. That is how lithium batteries work. So what you can do is you can just slow down the process of, you know, decreasing the battery health. Um, and for that, what you can do is you can use your device um, with some tips and tricks. So what are the important tips and tricks that can help to, you know, slow down the battery life process? I will talk about that in this video. But before that, I want to now shift to another section that is about a myth. Uh, there is a myth that I updated to this update and my battery health suddenly drops. This is a myth. Whenever battery health drops or maybe whenever you update to any version or downgrade to any version, your battery health never drops. It just recalculates um, your battery health. It maybe has dropped previously. For example, just take an example that in my settings if i go to the battery section over here and let me slightly lower down the brightness and over here now you can see it is 84 percent as you can see now for example i am running ios 18.4.1 this can be a thing that it is 84 percent but in the background the battery is 82 percent and it is not you know showing over here because it didn't recalculate it yet so when I update to a newer version, it recalculates the battery um, capacity and now it becomes 82%. And you might think it happens because of updating. No, it never, you know, battery health never drops. Battery life never drops because of updating. It drops because of, you know, different reasons. I will talk about that. But if you think after updating to a newer version, your battery health is dropping because of the new version. No, that is not the reason. It was already dropped it just recalculated and this is the new health now what can, the uh, potential reasons can be it can be you are using a bad charger that can be reason why your battery is dropping quickly it can be uh, you know uh, bad data cable or maybe you are charging your device through you know bad outage maybe you're using your pc to charge your device or your laptop to charge your device or a power bank power bank to charge your device that is not of a good quality these things can actually you know uh, decrease the battery health they can ruin the battery health of your device so what you need to do is you need to use good chargers you need to go use good data cables from renowned companies like anchor bezos or whatever maybe if you can afford the original apple one you can go for that um, don't go for even copy items even if the, there is a charger that is looks like completely by apple but that is a copied version don't use that that will also destroy the battery health of your device um so these are things you can do also try to follow 2080 rule now to what is 2080 rule basically so when your battery is around 20 percent put it on charging stop using it and what is when it is around 80 percent just unplug the charger and start using it or whatever and you can also make sure the optimized battery charging is on or if you have like newer iPhones, you can also limit your um, device. Let me show you how you can do that. So maybe you have newer iPhones. Let me do the practice over here. Um, you can get into the settings, then go to the 
um, battery over here that there will be a charging option and you can limit it to you know 80% or 85% according to your choice I do have like 85% so you can do this if you have like new iPhones you can do this too so yeah these are the ways through you can help um, to improve you cannot improve the battery health but you just can you know slow down the process of the battery draining battery decreasing this is how you can do that if this video is helpful for you let me in the comment section below if i miss anything let me in the comment section below i will try to cover that in the next video but i really wanted to make this video for a while now because everyone is complaining that 18.5 decreased the battery health 18.5 itself is a bad update i know that but update never destroy your battery health peace out